This is the Insta360 X3, and this has got to be the most versatile camera that I've ever used, whether you need an action camera for sports or just something super portable for travel. The X3 is a 360 degree camera, meaning that it captures literally everything around it all at once, which means you can completely reframe your footage after the fact to follow the action going on somewhere else in the scene. It's a pretty cool bit of tech, so let's take a look. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Jack. Insta360 did send me this for free to review, but this video is not sponsored by them. And I've never actually used a 360 camera like this before, so I've been testing it out, this is their latest model, and I wanted to share my experience using it as a first time user for anyone else in the same boat as me. And it is pretty clever how it all works. The X3 has these two cameras mounted on either side, each with a new half an inch sensor which both capture a super wide field of view. And because of that, it can do some clever stitching of the two camera feeds to create this ball or 360 degree sphere of everything going on around it. You can kind of see the seam where they meet, but it's not that noticeable in most shots. And because it knows exactly where the selfie stick is, it can even completely remove it from the video. So you get this kind of floating camera look. It actually kind of looks like footage from a drone or something. Then on top of that, it uses a six axis gyroscope to orientate the footage and lock onto the horizon. So no matter how you're holding the X3 or whatever way up it is, the video always stays level. And as I've been using it, it's really changed the way that I even think about shooting because you don't have to think about your framing or your composition. It's just filming everything all at once. And then you can go in and choose what you wanna see and frame up on later in the app. And that's what I think makes this just so powerful and so versatile. You don't even have to think about whether you want your footage in landscape or vertical for posting to social media. You can decide on that later depending on where you're wanting to share your footage. This is it connected wirelessly to the Insta360 app, by the way. You can use it to see a live view from the camera and also do all of the editing and reframing, plus adding effects all in the app on your phone or tablet. So it's really accessible on the go. And I'll show you more on that later on. It has some really cool features, but just to cover a few more of the specs. It shoots in 5.7K up to 30 FPS when in 360 video mode. Plus it has a HDR option, that's high dynamic range, which gives you even more detail in the highlights and shadows. And it's actually pretty impressive. The footage looks really bright and vibrant and works best on bright sunny days. You can also shoot with just one of the cameras if you want to use it more like a traditional action cam. And in single lens mode, you can capture up to 4K 30 FPS, or in 3.6K, you can go up to 60 FPS for even smoother footage. It does also have built-in mics too, four of them, to capture audio from all directions to go with that 360 video. You can capture either 18 or 72 megapixel stills. Again, that's a 360 degree capture. The 72 megapixel stills take a little longer to save, but they look great panning around with that extra detail. To navigate the menus, it has a 2.29 inch touchscreen with tempered glass, and the whole body feels really nice and rugged. It's also waterproof up to 10 meters, rated IPX8. They also have an optional dive case, so you can go as far down as 50 meters if you need to. On the bottom, there's a quarter inch thread for mounting or using a selfie stick. It also has a removable 1800 milliamp hour battery, which is nice to see, and it takes micro SD cards for storage. You can pop this out and use a card reader, or just connect to the X3 over Wi-Fi to the app, which I find much easier. Next to the battery, there's also a USB-C port for charging, or again, data transfer. On the opposite side, there's a rubberized power button and the Q button, which gives you quick access to some preset shooting modes that you use most. On the front, there's a record start stop button and another button for switching between 360 and single lens modes. All the buttons have a really nice tactile feel to them and some pretty strong vibrating haptic feedback too, which you can feel even through the selfie stick. Plus the indicator lights on both sides mean you can check and see at a glance if you're still recording. With the on-screen menus, you can swipe through and choose whatever shooting mode you want to use. You have the 360 degree video modes. And again, this has just really changed how I even think about using a camera. Being able to reframe and pan around after you've shot something means that you never really miss anything. And you can get pretty creative with it. You can get this like third person video game look, GTA mode people call this, although this is more like GTA Country Walk Edition with me. But basically I just extended the selfie stick, stuck it into my backpack so the X3 was just sort of above and behind my head, 
and then you get this really unique perspective shooting in all directions, which you simply wouldn't be able to get with a normal single lens camera. I've seen people do the same kind of thing with cars too, mounting this to the back so you get this third person driving video game look, it's pretty cool. And for me, you know, I run this channel on my own, I don't have anyone to help me shoot or hold a camera for me. And sometimes I just want to grab a quick shot of me when I'm out testing a product for some B-roll. And with the X3, that's just really easy to do. I don't have to worry about framing. I can just grab a quick shot with the selfie stick or set the X3 down on a tripod, get a quick shot and then reframe it later. You could also use some accessories to mount it to your head or more simply just hold it in your mouth to get more of a first person view like this. And let's just say that people have been having quite a lot of fun doing this because when you pan around to the other direction, this is what it looks like. Yeah, this has been given the name Nose Mode and it's kind of hilarious and terrifying at the same time. You should go check out some Instagram hashtags to see more of these if you need a laugh. My friends and family have all had a go and uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> There's also bullet time mode, this is really fun. They have a special bullet time cord or stick that you can use for this. And you swing the X3 around above your head and it captures in slow-mo this very Matrix inspired shot. That's a lot of fun and I've seen some really creative shots made with this in their app. There's also loop recording, so you can have the X3 record continuously but only save the last few minutes when you hit the record button meaning that you can use this basically as a dash cam and essentially record something after it's happened. You can do 8K time lapses, just set the X3 down somewhere on a tripod, hit record and capture some nice rolling clouds or people passing by in the middle of a city. And then go in later and reframe or pan around in editing. There's also a few single lens modes, either for using the X3 more like a traditional action cam, maybe for mounting it to your body or to the front of a bike to show where you're going, or for the all new me mode where you hold the X3 out in front of you and this fixes the frame facing towards you. Again, doing some magic to remove the selfie stick. And this records in HD up to 60 FPS, which is great for sports. I've seen this being used for things like skiing, or even if you're just out and about for a walk or for a hike. So I'm really impressed by its hardware, all of the different shooting modes. It pretty much covers you for every situation that you want to record in. But where the X3 really shines is with the Insta360 app. Now, there is a desktop version if you prefer to work that way, but for quick edits, I actually prefer to use either the iPhone or the iPad app. Firstly, you can just pan around to get a better look at your shot. You can pinch in and out to change the field of view, just how you like it. At the top, there are these three buttons. Auto will use some fancy AI magic to analyze the footage and give you some clips that you can use where it's automatically framed and followed a person, for example but I really like the snap feature here in the middle, where you basically hold the record button down, the clip starts to play, and then you can move your phone around to reframe the clip onto whatever you wanna see using the gyroscope in your phone. It's so cool and it's really intuitive, it works really well. It's quick too as you're editing the video in real time. But maybe you're somewhere where you can't move around, you're in a car or on a plane. Well, that's fine, you can also edit using keyframes too. Find a point in your video, frame it as you like it and hit the plus icon at the bottom. Scroll forward and do the same again, framing on something else. Hit the plus to add another keyframe and now you've edited a panning move into your video just like that. It also has tracking. You might have noticed these little crosshairs appearing in the video. This is something that the app thinks is something you might wanna track like a person or a pet. So you can tap on these and then it will analyze the footage and keep tracking it for as long as it can see it. Or you can tap and drag on something in the video like Harry here. It'll play through and animate the reframing for you. And it does a really good job of it too. I mean, me and Harry are running here and he is a fast little dog. I'm running holding a selfie stick, but it tracks him just fine. And the video looks really smooth with the x 3s stabilization. You can also choose if you want the video exported in portrait, landscape, square, or in a super wide aspect ratio. It has all the usual editing tools and sliders, a ton of different filters for different looks, there really are loads. You can even do these cool sky swaps where it analyzes the skyline and you choose something to replace it with, like the Northern Lights or a starry night sky. The app is pretty much packed with all the tools you'll need on the go. I mean, the app has a bunch of tutorials and ideas for how you can use the X3. There's some really creative stuff that people have done with this and I'm just like, how did they even do it? But then the app breaks it down and it tells you what mode to shoot in, how to hold the X3. So that's really helpful and a good place to start for some inspiration, especially if you're like me and you've never used a camera like this before.
And just to mention, there is an Apple Watch app too. You don't get a live preview here, but you can select the mode that you want and your settings and start and stop recording. And that's useful if you've got the X3 mounted somewhere where it's not in reach. You can control it from your wrist. In the box, you get the X3 itself. Another box with all of the usual documentation, a quick start guide, and of course there's some stickers. A lens cloth, that's something that you'll want to keep with you so you can keep these big lenses clean and fingerprint free. They also give you a pouch for the X3 for some protection in your pocket or bag, which also has a handy cutout on the side to give you access to that USB-C port. You do also get a USB-A to USB-C cable. They did also send me a few accessories like this rubber lens cap. I've actually found myself using this more than the included carry pouch as it's just quicker to slip on and off. A pretty standard size over a meter long selfie stick. You will definitely need one of these if you haven't got one handy. But also this absolutely massive three meter long one too. I tried to show how big it is here in this shot but it didn't really do it justice. And with a selfie stick this big you can get these very drone like shots by holding the X3 way up in the air. And I do have a drone, but there are many places where flying is restricted, like most major cities, for example, because of how close they are to the airport, or places where it's just not practical to fly. So this makes for a good substitute. Or you could use it to hold the X3 far out over a ledge while keeping a safe distance. Really useful for some unique perspectives. They also sent me a motorcycle mounting kit too. I don't have a motorcycle or a bike actually, so I've not been able to try this out just yet. But they also have a snow kit, a bullet time kit, plus a few of us with all the essentials you'll need to get you started. And loads of different mounting options that you can find on the website. Overall, as a first time user of a camera like this, I feel like I've just unlocked so many ways of shooting with the X3. I'll be using it in my production, in my videos when I need some B-roll, but also just as just a fun camera to use when I'm traveling, when I wanna share some clips with my friends. I have some travel plans next year and I can't wait to take this with me. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to shoot with. The app makes editing your clips a breeze. I was kind of hesitant at first as I've never done anything with 360 video before, but the app makes it really easy to reframe your clips, to track a subject and tweak the look of your footage all in one place. Is there anything that I don't like about it? Honestly, not really. I will say that the footage from the X3 definitely looks best outdoors with lots of light, which is where I think you'll probably find yourself using it most anyway. It can look a bit noisier in lower light, but it's still usable. The battery does only last 70 to 80 minutes on a single charge while recording, which is something to be aware of for longer shoots, but the battery is removable, so you could pick up some spares or just connect this up to a power bank and record while it's charging. But other than that, I think this is the most versatile camera I've used and the most fun I've had with a camera in quite a while. And I can't wait to experiment and shoot with it some more. Thanks to Insta360 for sending me this to review. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button to let me know. And if you wanna see more tech videos from me, hit subscribe and the bell. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.